this is the part where I try not to scream and cry. It's 9am in the morning, so... Hey everyone, it's Rihanna and welcome back to another video. I know I was gonna probably get loads and loads of requests to do Star Wars The Force Awakens new trailer reaction, but story time, boys and girls, gather around the fire. Okay, so last night I did a live show on Nick's and Nack's channel, and me, Nicole, Ellie, and Kara, everyone who was in the live show, decided, you know what? We are going to do a live reaction to the new Star Wars trailer because it just dropped. We just finished watching the Star Wars panel at Star Wars Celebration. It just dropped. Everyone was like, oh my god, guys, you need to react to this. And we thought, okay, we're going to react to the trailer. So we all put the trailer on full screen, all watched it, all freaked out, cried and screamed. And then we saw that on the live feed it was pixelated as anything. You couldn't see a thing. So... That was a waste of a reaction. However, I've waited until now to watch the trailer again. I probably would have watched it 50 more times. However, I wanted to save my kind of, you know, fresh reaction, I guess. This isn't the first time I'm watching this trailer, by the way, so it's not my initial reaction. However, I knew a lot of you guys would probably want me to watch it anyway. So I'm gonna watch it and then just discuss it because, oh my God, from what I can remember yesterday, this trailer was just, Oh, the most beautiful thing. So yeah, not initial reaction. I hope that's okay. I really apologize. We tried to do a live one, but it just didn't work. However, I am very excited to watch this trailer again. Ugh. Oh my God. That set design though, I can't, <laughs> I can't even. Force is strong I feel like family. this is Luke Skywalker. I can't. I freaked out when I saw this mask. My father has it. This is Luke Skywalker. <laughs> oh my god. I have it. My sister has it. You have that power too. I can't. This music is just <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Out pretty much just as much as I did yesterday. <sighs> God, I have so many chills right now. Holy crap, guys! I still love that trailer so freaking much. I just I can't. The music at the beginning is oh, the music at the beginning just that Star Wars theme by John Williams is oh, it's beautiful. Let's just run through this step by step, okay, guys? Let's just discuss this beautiful piece of magic. <laughs> I love this landscape. In the Star Wars panel they said it's set on a planet called Jakku and not Tatooine. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh god, I'm the worst person in the world. However, it's, it's set on a planet called Jakku, the desert planet. And oh, this set design is killing me. It's definitely Luke Skywalker saying this. R2. What is that? It's just a lightsaber? Oh, it feels so old school with this font, guys. I love it. Oh man, the villain. I'm so looking forward to seeing more of the villain, but oh my god. Oh my god, though, Oscar Isaacs as Poe Dameron. I'm oh, freaking out. And Daisy Ripley's character, who's called Ray and Finn who is John Boyega's character, and they kind of cross paths from what I can understand. She's like this scavenger, and he may or may not be a stormtrooper from what I gathered from the panel, but they cross paths, and they cross paths with Poe De Demeron, and that was, that's definitely Rey, right? Daisy Ridley's character. She is either Luke's daughter, or she's Leia and Han Solo's daughter, I'm thinking. I think she's Luke's daughter. Oh, Millennium Falcon. I can't. 
Oh my god. Literally though, Harrison Ford looks so good for his age. I, this is when we all were freaking out, we were all screaming. <laughs> we were like, oh my god, it's Han Solo and Chewie. I love that trailer so much, guys. Let's talk about it for a minute. If this is the only thing that comes out, I'll be happy. Just because recently, tons and tons of trailers have been coming out for films, ruining the whole thing. But what I love about this is that after you watch the Star Wars panel at Star Wars Celebration, you know who Rey is, you know who Finn is, you know who Poe Dameron is, and obviously you know who the original Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Luke Skywalker are. So if you've watched the original trilogy, then you'll know what's going on in this trailer most, no, mostly. So first of all we get Luke Skywalker saying like the forces in my family my father had it and they show the Darth Vader burnt mask and then he says I had it and my sister had it and you have it and I think Rey is Luke Skywalker's daughter so there's going to be family connections in there and there was a shot of her and John Boyanga's character and she was helping him out and stuff so that's how they cross paths but I'm really looking forward to seeing how that happens. I'm looking forward to discovering more about the villain who I believe is played by Adam Driver from what I can tell. We got so many shots of the villains guys with his lightsaber that looks just freaking awesome and the set design looks awesome as well at the panel. Kathleen Kennedy and JJ Abrams said they tried to build as much as they could which I really appreciate because they're kind of going back to the old school um, old school Star Wars back in the 80s and the original trilogy. The movie looks beautiful I mean JJ Abrams knows how to shoot a film I oh my god I have so many feelings about this trailer. Okay highlights people one Chewie we're home how can you not want to die over that I just brain explosion when Harrison Ford and Chewie came up on screen as Han Solo. Oh my god. Oh, why are they trying to do this to me? I swear this trailer broke the internet. Highlight number two, seeing Finn and Rey cross paths. I'm really intrigued to see where their storyline goes. Highlight number three is that you still don't really know what the story is, even though this is a full length trailer. It's only two minutes, but it's still a full length trailer, but you still don't know what's going on. And I love it. It's like all the mystery, but everyone wants to see it still because it just it looks so good and everyone's just excited because it's new Star Wars. Highlight number four, the burnt Darth Vader mask. Oh my god. Since it's a continuation on from the original trilogy, I think they're gonna reference back to it quite a lot considering Luke and Leia's past with him, obviously because his their their father, I don't spoiler alert. I don't I think you guys have already already know that, but you know. Anyway, those were my five main highlights. I'm so pumped for this movie. Take my money, JJ Abrams. Make a million sequels. I don't care. Just leave me in this Star Wars universe. I cannot wait for The Force Awakens, guys. Tell me what you thought of the trailer down below in the comments. Leave your theories and stuff. I would love to hear from you and we can just discuss all things Star Wars. I'm so pumped for this. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be bringing you more TV reviews and movie reviews very soon, I hope. As usual, all my social media links will be down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.